And now to another tragedy, this one out of Lansing, where we've learned that three children were killed overnight in a house fire. Firefighters found a home that was engulfed in flames, and they tried to rescue the three children who were still inside, but sadly, they were too late. Local force Coco McAvoy joining us there live this afternoon. And Coco, I understand that four others were hurt as well. Yes, that's right. There were seven people inside of the house when the fire started. Four people were injured seriously, and then the three little boys did not survive. Now take a look. You can see the devastation left behind this afternoon after the flames ripped through this house. Now we did speak with a family member out here on scene. Police are also still out here investigating. We want to show you a photo of the three brothers who did not survive the fire. Their names are Manolo, Ramiro, and Juan Zavala. And the step grandmother who we spoke to describes them as amazing little boys. Now let's show you some video that we've shot here on scene. This fire started at 1:30 this morning at this home on New York Street. Again, there were seven people inside of the house at the time, five kids and two adults. The two adults are seriously injured at the hospital. The 18 month old baby was also taken to the hospital along with a five year old girl. But the three young boys, three, five and eight years old, did not make it out of the house in time. And this is really devastating news for the family and the neighborhood. And one neighbor describes what she saw. I was handed a kid. Um, I, I, I want to say I would estimate like five or six years old and um, I held her for a minute until over the until my husband came and then the professionals came and were, was able to help her properly. And the Lansing School District released a statement this morning about the fire because the boys are in the district. It says, quote, in part, we are all devastated about the loss of these wonderful young children. And our thoughts and prayers are with the family members recovering in the hospital at this time. And again, as I told you, I did speak with a step grandmother who witnessed this all unfold. You'll hear more from her at five o'clock, but the family also really needs help at this time. They have a Facebook fundraiser and they're hoping that people can donate. We've got a link on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Back to you. All righty, Coco, thank you for the update there. Such a sad story. This evening, family and friends are going to be coming together for a vigil to remember two brothers who were killed in a house fire in Gross Point. Nine year old Logan and 11 year old Briggs Connolly died Monday morning. The brothers were huge hockey fans and to show support, neighbors have been putting out hockey sticks. Tonight's vigil starts at 6 p.m. and it's at St. Paul Catholic Church in Grosse Pointe Farms. We're going to stream that live on our website. Just go to clickondetroit.com if you'd like to watch.